Oh god! You scared me. What are these flowers for? Is there something special today? Well, nothing too special. It isn't our anniversary today, is it? Um, oh, won't pay if you're over making things again. I just felt like you deserve these beautiful flowers. Well, thanks. Do you not like it? Huh? No, I love them. Really? Perhaps I should have gotten something, I don't know, shinier? No, I like them. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Something's bothering you? Babe? I don't think it's the right time. Is it something to do with work? Like me talking to Emily? You guys talked? Well, yeah, I answered her questions. What'd she ask? My hobbies, things I like, dislike, and other personal questions. I think she likes me. I'm not surprised. You're a great man. <laughs> Only for you. Oh, stop with these <laughs> cheesy words. I'm really tired and I have to work tomorrow. All right. Good night, baby. Another hard day at work, wasn't it? You should stop this. Stop what? I don't think I love you anymore. It's a joke, isn't it? It's real funny. I'm dead serious. Let's break up. What? Let's break up. Well, can you say more than that? I can't understand why you'd want to break up. I've been thinking about us a lot, and I've come to understand that I don't feel the same way that I used to. So I want to break up. There's nothing I can do to put everything back the way it was. I'm sorry. It's just not love. <laughs> not love? What was it then? How can you not feel the same when everything I say and do is out of love and honesty? I don't know. Huh? You don't? Look at me. Look at me. You realize what you've done, right? I gave so much commitment. I gave everything I could in order to make us both happy. Stop it! I told you! I lost feelings! How? Fucking how? Tell me! Stop it! You're I, scaring me! I, I was always there for you. Stop. I did my best stop. to cheer you up stop. when you were sad stop. and be stop. the man to support you. Stop. I said stop! Nothing's gonna change! Why? Why now? Why couldn't it be so much sooner? I wasn't so deeply in love. Because I loved you! Yeah, so why now? Didn't we have a whole fucking future? No. No. Look, let's cool this down, okay? I know we can work this out. No, there's nothing to work out anymore. I'm done. I can't keep lying to you. Sophia, I don't care. Lie to me if you need to. Why? Because I still want a future with you. Let's work it out. I don't want to lose you like this. Luke! There's no future anymore. <sighs> Fine. You know what? Fine. You don't love me anymore. You want us over? I'll pack up my shit and be out of your life. Good luck finding a man willing to sacrifice so much for you.
Hey. Here's a drink. Uh, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Work must have caused those dark circles. <laughs> What's up, man? Hey. <laughs> Thanks for the snacks. Yeah, no problem. What are you watching? Uh, this is just some sort of action movie. Okay. But why aren't you sitting with your girl? I wanted to chat with you guys. Okay, I see. So yeah, let me tell you about this movie. It's basically about a little girl being raised by androids. And, you know, she's made to think that she's an android herself. Okay, cool. Is that her right now? Yeah, that is her right now, and you know, she's running. yeah, she's running. And who's after. this one? Who's this character? That's one of her. She called it her sister, which is a, which yeah. is an actual android. Uh -huh. How are you liking the movie so far? Yeah, it's cool. Though I don't usually watch action movies often. Oh, I thought Luke watches like a lot of them. He told me he likes them. Yeah, right now, yeah. Well, I don't always watch action movies with him. I think, but the others tell me them to like one should hide instead. Yeah, okay. I can see that. Yeah, okay, I see that. So is this an episode, or is this a series, or is this like a movie feature, or what? what kind so of there is like, this actually an episode, but there's a prequel to it, um, which was 12 episodes long, episodes long and okay. this one's also, you know, it's the same amount. Awesome, was there a pilot for this too, or was it? to give you these. What do you think I'd love to take those back? Emily was asking for them. Could cost you less. I can always buy Emily something that she likes. You two are not the same person anyways. Guess things are going really good for you guys. There. It's all you had to do. Whatever. At least Emily won't be asking me for them anymore. Are sure it's Emily? Or you? You regret it, don't you? Tell you what, bet you she can love me better than you can! Yeah? Cool. I really don't care. Just tell her to stop bothering me. Work it out with her and leave me out of this. Fine. Then go fuck yourself. Don't you dare show up in front of me ever again! Got it! Sophia! 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 Luke! What do you want? Can you stop, Luke? It's been a whole month! I can't live without you. Please, Sophia, come back. Luke! Please, I, I promise to treat you better. It's over! It's over! 
You need to move on. Why am I not the one? Why are we over? What? I tried so hard. Think of all the possibilities, I I don't know where I went wrong. Nothing I, went wrong, Luke. No, no, I, no, I'm sure I did something. It's not you, it's me. I hurt you, like the bitch I am, really. I don't deserve you. I don't deserve your love, none of it. So let's make this the last time we talk about it. I can't keep seeing you miserable like this. I wouldn't be this miserable if we just worked on things. Come on, Sophia, please. So, I really you, love you. Can you stop? What do you want? You want me to die for you to move on? So I. I'm really close to losing my shit right now. I don't know what I'm gonna say in the next few seconds, so I'm gonna explain this to you one more time. I broke us. Nothing we do is gonna fix it. It's only gonna make things worse. So, if you wanna beg, Beg the universe to forget me and move on. I don't ever want to see you again. I've been wanting to see you. I'm surprised you sent me your address. I know you told me that you liked me and you were always there for me when Sophia and I broke up. I like you, but as a friend. Well, it takes time to develop feelings, you know, after a breakup. Right now you might see me as a friend, but maybe- Emily, I know what it's like to desperately beg for something impossible. This is different. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You're fooling yourself right now, Emily. Look, Luke, I'm really willing to wait until you're ready for a fresh start. Well, I can't. Dreams. Humanity's favorite drug. But what is there left to do once we accomplish those dreams? You would always come here to think and clear your head. When I would find you, you would be looking out over the lake and tell me it was the most peaceful place you could find in this small town. Everybody has dreams, hopes, wishes. It's what keeps us going day in and day out.
I became what we wanted to be when we were younger. I gained quite the following as a solo artist, and even now I have to wear shades in public to not get recognized. Why is this so difficult? I normally I don't have this much trouble writing. Of course, just today I forgot. I guess the parting really did help me forget for a time at least. for the documentary they make of you guys. Then you'll really be thanking me. Just go back, do what you were doing, pretend I'm not even here. Mom, can we do this after we have our first concert, please? We both need to be fully focused on this song so that it can be concert ready. Okay, yeah, I won't push it. I think I got a good one here anyway. Oh yeah, package arrived for you guys. It's downstairs by the front. Finally! What do you think? Too bland? Too flashy? I still wish you went with my idea and called us morally correct, but I still dig the design otherwise. Never in a million years. Whether it's something extraordinary, like being an astronaut, or something as simple as waiting to see a movie, we all pursue a dream of satisfaction in our lives. All right, people, we got one minute show time. Listen to my voice. We're going to be fine. You're the better one out of both of us. If anyone is going to mess this up, it's going to be me. Who said anything about messing up? All right. Let's do this. All right, people. Show time. Let's go. Let's go. Move it. Let's go. Come on. That was amazing. I know, right? You were so good. No, no, we were good. We just killed it out there. I mean, they loved us. I feel like a million bucks. <gasps> we really are living the dream. Yeah, this is it. This is what I want to do for the rest of my... They want you again. Well, I guess we better get back out there and give the people what they want, huh? You know... If we had kept going, I know we could have made it big. But maybe, maybe reality was right. We started growing apart the more we grew up. Meanwhile, I just wanted to keep the Dream Chasers alive. Somewhere along the line, we gave up on being a band and focused on what we thought were better career options. You don't gotta take the whole house with you. That duffel bag's on its last legs because of you. Never know. You can only carry so much weight on a plane. I'm gonna be there for three months, trying to fit everything in that I can. Going to France has been a dream of mine since I was little. <laughs> Bailey! It's 
Plus, this is for my dream job of being a language interpreter. Two major dreams coming true in the same trip. Can you believe that? Haley! So I need all of this stuff because I don't want to ruin anything because I forgot something here. Haley, you ready yet? Your flight leaves in three hours. Coming! Have fun with her while I'm gone. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll try and survive. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, um, could you take care of this for me while I'm gone? And maybe when I come back and I'm graduated from college, we can jam like the old days. Oh, hell yeah! The Dream Chasers can make a comeback! Yeah, can't wait. Well, see in a few. Call me when you get to the airport. Will do. Well, I see you made it to the airport, okay? So here I am, living out the reality of our childhood dreams. Sure, it has its occasional perks, but I never feel as though it's enough. The greatest perk about it is that it distracts me enough from reality to make me think that life is okay. I'm sorry for saying these selfish things. I shouldn't be sulking over being alive. But I just wanted to let you know that that it's okay. It's okay that you didn't finish your your goals while while you were here. After all these years. I can't believe it still fits you. Well, I got a flight that leaves for Italy in four hours, so I, uh, I best get going. Don't have too much fun up there without me, all right? See ya. Something I never said enough Back when we talked together That I am gonna need some help That I will need a border Between me and the wishing well Because I'm gonna get older oh. That was something I never This place is fucking disgusting are we good? Alright. I hope this is it. Yeah, I mean, I'd hardly call myself a local legend as much as I would just simply call myself a legend? A hero? Yeah. 
legend. Uh, uh, a monolith of success. A inspiration to thousands of children. Specifically. Specifically children? Well, yeah. Old people don't like me. Um... I've been training my whole life. I mean, I've been watching so many people attempt and fail, attempt and fail over and over again. I am exactly what every chef wants to be, but yeah. what every chef is too afraid, too chicken, too lily livered, lily livered, to become. Yeah, and I'm doing the, I'm the only one doing it traditionally, you know, starting in dog food, working your way to human food. And I'm I I'm th I think I'm ready for the for the big leagues now. I mean, well, I mean, clear, like we got the call about you. Cause, you know, the local news wanted us to do something about you, so clearly you've been, you know, doing something right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some people have said I've done almost everything right in my life. I'm excited for you to show. Show us what you got. I don't know, you want to go inside, get dressed, change a little bit? And we could go uh, film you cooking us some food and talk to some people. I hear you got a good partner in crime. Oh, yeah, you have uh, yet to meet the phenom who is eating. All right, well, see you in there. I'm going to get this fucking thing off me. All right. Here's that. See you in a bit. I'm just kind of putting something together for industry secret, bud. Back up. The secret in there. What? 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 He's what? Okay. He's just, maybe let him get some. Like, oh. well, I'll something. explain it to we're you. Just, to you don't, have to, don't stay. I'm not a caged animal. We're trying here. to make something about you to showcase you. And, you know? If you don't want the cameras close, it's okay. It's right. Okay. We could, we'll keep our distance. Is that okay? Okay. Fine with me? You're the documentary guy, so fine. Okay, come on. This is what I'm cooking today. Uh, well, anyway. I got this nice beanie weenie. Teeny tiny little teeny weenies right here. In my special sauce. Can you tell us what's in the special sauce? This kid hasn't learned a thing about uh, what, what being special is. I can't tell the whole world. This is going to be on local news. Hopefully more than just local news. The spatula is actually the uh, tool they use in most kitchens to scoop things out of liquid. Um, don't let it fool you. All right, all right. All right, I have prepared for you my special meal. My special sauce. I've spent a long time honing in on this craft, serving to dogs and then to human beings and having it all work out nicely. Oh, it's my boy Ethan! Sorry, man. <laughs> this is my right hand man on my left arm. Man, he's my friend. Hey, Parker. With uh, a few benefits. So, is this the Ethan you've been telling us about? A little bit. Um, uh, he's, uh... Wait, yeah, this is the Ethan I'm talking to you about. I have been talking to the, you. The sous chef, huh? The sous chef with sous. hands of gods. You tell... So... Is that a Rubik's Cube? Yeah, he's fucking good at it. Look at him go. He looks like he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Oh, he does. I've taught him everything about that thing. Ethan, would you mind if... We sat down and we talked one on one without Parker or anything, just the cameras and us. To get like a like a, a perspective from Parker from somebody else. Yeah, it's yeah, it's okay. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, because it sounded in those whispers that. 
You, were you were you listening to our whispers? I wasn't trying to. You guys are just a little loud. It's okay. Kind of sounds like you're eavesdropping on this. Come on, we have we have cameras and lights set up in the other room. Kind of sounds bad. We'll come talk to you on the couch. Treat Won't get anything bad. Treat them right. All right, I will. So, Ethan, Parker is a interesting character, huh? How'd you, how'd you guys get to meet, get to know each other? Oh man, Parker, he saved my life, dude. I was, I was cracked out of my mind behind a fucking high school man, and you know, he approached me and saw how cracked out I was, and he was like, hey man, replace that crack shit with beer and cigarettes, and dude, it will, it will change your life, and man, I did that ever since then. I smoked beer and I drank cigarettes every fucking day. And the dude is an absolute genius, man. Do, do you feel healthy? That, I haven't I been mean, in the best, I haven't been in this best shape of my life, dude. Going from a, a crack addiction to a nicotine and alcohol? Hey man, I gained so much weight from it, dude. And that's exactly what I needed in my life, man. I get it. Okay, so how long have you been working at the firm? Like a year or so now, right? Oh uh, yeah, give or take, yeah. Do you like cooking with him? Oh man, it's a blast, man. We we come up with these crazy ideas for food. People are always blown away by it, and you know I just he he lets me do what I do, and he I let him do what he does. We're never in each other's spaces, but sometimes we like to be in each other's spaces. It's it's abs. It's just the best. It's the best thing, and I love it. I I wouldn't regret it for a single second of my entire existence. It's the best. He's the best. I love it. You love him. I I love him. He's the man. He's the he's you know. They don't call him Parker for nothing around here. You know. Oh, Ethan. Do you ever think about you know maybe wanting to get out of here? I don't know. I've never really thought about it before. I I don't mind it here. Do you think maybe someone can make you happier somewhere else? Uh, what do you mean? Maybe I could make you happier somewhere else. Mm -hmm. What the fuck was that? What? The kiss. Why'd you kiss him? What do you mean? You went over to him and you just kissed him. Why? We were... Electricity, you know? There was some chemistry there. I like, I don't know. I... I couldn't help it. I feel like he wanted me to. Aren't you worried about Parker or anything? You just kissed his man. No. What do you mean? Ethan no? wanted me to. Well, that doesn't change the fact that he's still Parker's man. Didn't you see his record? He assaulted a food critic just for saying his food's okay. What do you think he's gonna do, you, do to you when you kiss his partner? All I know is Ethan and I are gonna run away together. And Parker won't be a problem. Whatever, man. Just be careful. How's it going? Oh, it's, good to, it's good to see you again. Oh, you're looking skinny, bud. What are you? I got a special meal for you, huh? Oh, I thought you're skin and bones. You're practically nothing. No, oh, it's just really that? just something I specially prepared. Oh.
All right, Roger. Here are your pills. I want you to start off taking two pills a day, about 12 hours apart. You get up for work around 6 a.m., right? Yeah, that's right. Well, make it part of your morning routine when you wake up. And then take the second pill around 6 p.m. every day as well. Sound easy enough? Roger, I know you'd rather not take pills, but I really think this is the best course going forward. It should help with the headaches and the other symptoms. Just don't forget to take them. You can start tonight. Any questions? No. I'll see you on Monday morning. Thanks, Doc. I'll see you Monday. Hey, can I get a small dark roast with two sugars, please? Yeah, that'll be 314. Can I get a name for that? Roger. Roger, Roger. Um, hi. I don't mean to be rude, but I think you're sitting at my table. Your table? I'll have you know this has been my table for nearly two years now. But if you're nice, I'll let you stay. Just for tonight. Thank you so much for the esteemed privilege. So, what's the name of the beautiful girl who owns this table? Marilyn. And watch yourself, hotshot. Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> I'm Roger. It's really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. But I actually gotta go to a little party a friend of mine is having. Oh, well, maybe next time then. Will you be back here tomorrow? Yeah, I come here around the same time every night. I'm kind of a regular. Um, and I'd love to see you again. Oh. Enjoy the coffee, Roger. What the hell did I do with that number?
Hey, Doc. Hi, Roger. Come on in. How did work go today? Fine. I mean, it's getting pretty busy with tax season coming up, but I don't know. I just feel like my coworkers don't think I should be there. I don't know. Roger, you've done everything they've asked you to do. You're putting in the work and it shows. Otherwise, I wouldn't have cleared you to return. How was your weekend? Did you remember to take your pills? Yeah, it was pretty uneventful. And yeah, yeah, I've been taking them religiously. You know, Roger, uneventful is not always a bad thing. We can handle uneventful right now. Well, actually, I did meet this girl at a coffee shop nearby after I left last Friday. I, I mean, I just set my stuff down at a table, got my coffee, came back, and she was just sitting there, and we actually hit it off. I don't know, I might go back there and see if she wants to go out sometime. But I'd probably screw it up and she can probably tell I'm crazy anyways. No, no, no I, I think this might be a very good thing for you, Roger. And you're not crazy. You've had a tough year, sure, but when you stop thinking of yourself as crazy, that'll just be another step in the right direction. <laughs> Pretty sure that's something you say to a crazy person, Doc. What book are you reading? It's called The Art of Racing in the Rain. You ever read it? That which we manifest is before us. We are the creators of our own destiny. Be it through intention or ignorance, our successes and our failures have been brought on by none other than ourselves. Ah, so you have read it. <laughs> yeah, it's actually one of my favorites. Although, I do hate that damn zebra. Mm, I hate the crows a little bit more right now. So? What brings you in today, Roger? Sure it isn't to discuss our reading habits. <laughs> Don't look like you need a coffee either. Well, actually, I, I came here to ask you out. I, I mean, I know you gave me your number and all, but I just wanted to do it in person. Well, that's very nice of you. I'd love to. How about we meet up on Friday, downtown at that new Italian place? Say, seven o'clock Friday? That sounds good to me. Uh, how was your party? It was all right. A whole rooftop deal, but I'll save the details for Friday. I kind of got to go. My break ended like five minutes ago. Well, I, I won't keep you then, but I'll, I'll, I'll see you on Friday then. All right, have a good one, Roger. Where were you? Roger, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I know you don't deserve it. So I what happened? I mean, do you want to tell me that you were stuck in traffic or got called into work? Or do you just want to be honest and tell me you forgot?
So work has gotten better since we last met? Yeah, I don't know. Seems fine. Getting back into the swing of things okay? Yeah, I guess. Seems fine. How are you feeling about your co-workers? Fine, I guess. How's your prescription working for the headaches? Fine. So you're staying on schedule? Yep. So, seems like you're doing great. How'd your date go? Fantastic. What did you talk about? I don't know, jobs and stuff. She didn't show up. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, she was really nice and probably had better things to do anyway. I mean, she, I didn't even know her. She probably just thought I was crazy and she was right. No, Roger, you're not crazy. You have to I'm stop. I'm just sick of coming here and pretending that any of this shit is working. I mean, I took your fucking pills and I did your little schedule, but everything just feels fake. Can I just go? I don't think you should, Roger, but if you want to, you can. Marilyn, I'm... Welcome back. 